Here we are again at boardshop.co.uk, surfboard review time. Subscribe button please, or don't watch any further. Come on. Um, new board to look at today, the FRK Plus from Slater, Slater Designs. You'll be familiar with the FRK of course, um, a largely unobtainable, unsurfable short board for most people, too low in volume, too high performance. There are a few people who have enjoyed it in good waves, but the FRK Plus, the Freak Plus, is a far better option as an everyday uh, board that gives you performance you want, but also with that bit of added float, bit of added volume, uh, more generous dimensions, gives you the paddle power and the ability to surf in less than perfect conditions. So let's have a little spin around the baby. Um, <coughs> the biggest difference from the FRK, the original board, is that we've now got this nice little pulled in squash tail, which gives the board far more versatil versatility and adaptability uh, than the pulled in pin that's on the original FRK. <coughs> There's a little bit more float all the way through, right running through from the tail all the way up to the nose. The concave setup is tweaked a tiny bit um, through the base and single to double, but it's minimal. But what it does do is make the board feel a little bit more lively and a little bit easier to get on a rail. And one of the big advantages of this board, with the, even with the added volume, is that it goes rail to rail really smoothly and really easily. Um, this is in a future setup, as you know, Slater and Firewire boards are moving forward with only Slaters, with only Futures as a fin option. So this is one of the first of the generation that's changing over to that, to that one setup. It's in the Ibolic construction, as the original FRK was. And Ibolic's interesting because it's, uh, it's kind of a mix of the helium, strength, durability, all that brilliantness that that brings, and LFT, which gives more of a PU kind of responsive feel. And what the Ibolic does is combine the best parts of two, and it's got a fancy hidden stringer up there with all sorts of um, constituents from outer space, which make it even better. And then it's got the parabolic stringer rails. What that all means is you've got a board with really good responsiveness, carries the energy into and out of your turns, and gives that real springy feel, gives you real feedback. That's key for keeping speed, and as we all know, speed is the key to great surfing. Um, the other thing that Ibolic brings is a good combination of durability, strength, along with that performance. So as constructions go, it's really, really good. I've got an Ibolic Revo and I love it. I love the way it feels and surfs and it's definitely an improvement on the previous iterations of all those constructions. So if you're looking for a daily driver, an everyday shortboard um, that paddles all right, deals with a bit of chop and a bit of wind, but gives you that performance, it goes in anything from but just above waist to way overhead. Great to travel with as well, as well as good days at home, as well as the you know standard bumpy, lumpy, bigger days we get. The FRK Plus is a really good option. In this kind of um, short board with added volume, there's a few options. There's Uber Driver XL from Lost. There's the Phantom XL from Pizel. Uh, they're great boards, really great templates, but that you don't get this classic. Um, epoxy construction with all the benefits that that brings as you do with the FRK Plus. So the price tag might be a little bit higher but you are buying into a technology that's really pushing the limits as fire run slaves always do. They're always looking for the next thing to make their board surf better, give you better durability, better performance uh, and all the rest of it. So there it is, the FRK Plus online right now, just released. Um, have a look, looks fantastic, really pleasing shape. Um, looks very surfable in the right conditions uh, and as always we're stoked to be involved. Online you can get it on uh, interest free finance, you can trade in old boards um, and if you've got any questions about sizing and all that stuff then obviously just give us a shout and don't forget hit that big red subscribe button please.